Generation Z was recently surveyed by the University of California, Los Angeles to examine their views on relationships and romance in movies, and the results might shock you. Let's talk about that in what is a very amusing discourse with Paul Chetto, Tom from Midnight's Edge, Nolan Thunder, Ron Bradley, and Melvin the Movie Monster here on T3PO. All right, to Neil8945 says, Pro, have you seen that article explaining that Gen Z thinks woke is just for or about ugly people? Tom and Paul know it. It was covered yesterday on Midnight's Edge in the morning. Paul, uh, Tom, what was this about? If you want to uh, start, well, Paul, the, right? the whole point of uh, that, in, in particular, how the women have been changed in video games and, and on TV, right? They've all been uh maleified uh, so to speak um at least well there are certain women who already look like men so okay i'm going down a path i should go on a path i can't follow <laughs> where's, where's where's my mustache so uh yeah so that's really you know the the whole uh you know the uglifying of women is part of woke right it's so, the, so here's the way that i've it, so it's the masculinization of women and the fem and the feminizing of men. Yeah, that, that's what they've been doing. They're, well, they're trying to much... find a way to make them look the same. Yeah, yeah. it goes even deeper Dylan than that. Dylan Mulvaney, all in one. Right. <laughs> well, and 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 I brought up how Andre and I have been looking into this study that the University of California did, of all things, where they found out that Zoomers are sick of too much sex in their movies. Yeah, um, they're confused. Ago, yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> they're they don't un no i'm serious like they don't understand the difference between a friendship and a relationship and a lot of what they're blaming is the media for this um and, well, shoot, and they're getting tired at, of uh, it look at uh kids these days asking out especially this time of year like nolan you're too stuff. young to, to be talking that way don't you talk about getting them off your lawn <laughs> look at kids Shh. these days Kids, I don't have a cane prop with me. I can't do that, though. But I am close to becoming the crazy cat lady, though. Um, but I do want to say, has anyone ever noticed now some of the, the viral videos going on with people asking people out to prom? They're asking these people out like it's a marriage proposal. They're having these prom proposals. Scenes. That's been a thing for a while. Yes. And yeah. it's yeah, like it's they're about 10K on them. It's insane. And like, they don't really have a very good grasp. And I'm not one who's going to say, this is how your relationship should be. I don't believe I should be the police. Of that. I don't think really anybody should be the police of that. But it's one of those things. It just shows just how the um, per perverted is that. Can I say that on the show? Yeah, like, you can this say that. Has become Did you not see the mustache? The mustache, man. It's all, everything's open at this point. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. <laughs> Thank you. Now everything I, I, I think I've, is going to be I've, in the clear. Unleash but the with, hounds of war. But Tom, Tom, do not yeah. start unbuttoning. I know what you're up to behind that camera. Don't you do it. That's not what we meant. <laughs> <laughs> but if you see, like, they're seeing what's happening in Instagram reality. They're seeing what's happening in our movies and our culture and pushing these stuff. And I don't care if you want to have people of um, different political beliefs and such or different kinds of viewpoints in these movies. But if you are just trying to warp the world into this in a thing that isn't really long term known if it's going to work out or not, you're confusing a generation and they're basically becoming guinea pigs for, hey, is this going to work or not? Now they can't even just figure out what a friend is and what a relationship is. If you're trying to push in any direction of what is OK for romance, because that's a debate as it is then you're going to muddy the waters. They're going to get even more confused as opposed to being in a world where we can all just get along and love each other. Well, you, you well, got to tell done. me. I was just going to say, what it's done is cause this hypochondria kind of effect with, yes. now you have like 30% of Zoomers who identify as bisexual. That is insane, and that no, number. No, or non-binary. Or non-binary, it's like it, that's just, just it. Just no, that's not how. Well, I'm... that 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 means the, that means the word has no meaning at that point. But well, so is a trendy thing. Thing, non-binary yeah. isn't well, look, right. But once you once day... you reach a certain percentage, you know, you start to wonder: Does this person actually mean this, or has it become the flavor of the day to be of this way and a way to gain cred and and you know rise in the social hierarchy of your setting? But here's what I think, guys. And you tell me where I'm wrong on this. And Tanil, you're getting your money's worth on this super chat. Let me tell you, this is the this is the chat du jour, apparently. But uh, I look at these people, you know, like this the sweet baby thing and the black girl gamers and all this. 
I look at it like when you're in high school and there's that percentage of people who are kind of the outcasts and you feel sorry for them and you go and you make friends with some of them and you lift them up, you know, and so I don't know what the percentage of folks are out there who are kind of the loners and the losers. And, you know, we've all had those times when we feel kind of outcast in any kind of setting, but you go and you befriend them and like 90% of them, you're like, man, I'm really glad that I became friends with you. You're really cool. And I like you a lot. And then there's that 10% that you start to get to know. And you're like, no, no, you actually deserve all of this. <laughs> you know, you're a horrible, horrible person. And I feel like that small, tiny 10% of the outcast have somehow conquered the world. And frankly, yes, I'm just impressed. I'm just they want to make they it everything off. into their own image. There are so many people of so many different uh, uh, backgrounds that are good, genuine people that have been pitted against each other because those few people, we've catered the world to them. And mm -hmm. it has hurt our society and things need to be, go about that way. If you are brought up in this world, whoever that person you want to be or however you view yourself, as long as you're not impacting others, the world needs to become, how can we all coexist as opposed to how can I turn this world into, can it reflect my opinion? Not what's right or wrong, what my opinion is, because how dare someone think different from how I think in any sense? Yeah. By like, the way, I've update. Been... Go ahead, Paul. Oh, that, that, that was me. Oh, Marvin. Sorry, sorry. I was, <laughs> I was looking at another screen. I apologize. No problem. There's something about uh... your voices, though. Look at the end of the, at the end of the day, you've got uh, pretty much every uh, <laughs> every keep, keep, keep every, going, Marvin. Uh, it's okay. Every supervillain is uh, kind of has this plan, right? I gotta make the world look exactly like me. I, I've, I've, I've never been. I've, I've never been I was the Muppet for a second there. I'm sorry. Yeah, That's right. Marvin became the puppeteer. Sorry, it's always, I didn't it's always, I got thunder, Mark. Go no, keep problem, no problem, no problem. No, it's okay. You, you just had a thunder. brilliant insight. It's okay. Paul we was just like, it. just sitting there it's, going, the hell if I'm getting upstaged by a sock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a fuzzy oh, sock. Oh, whoa, whoa, that is our word. You are not, I you know, know what, I give you, I give you the card <laughs> for tonight, though. That was a highlight from our live stream on WW Pro's channel, where the full recording can be accessed by members. So be sure to become one today. A special thanks to Paul Chetto, Tom from Midnight's Edge, Nolan Thunder, Follow the Bradley's Fun, and Melvin the Movie Monster for providing some insightful and hilarious commentary. But what about you? Do you think Generation Z is in the right? And do you think creatives and executives in Hollywood should take note when producing their next picture? Please let us know in the comments below. Share this video if you like this video, and be sure to subscribe to That Park Place Podcasts online. Please comment, like, and share this video, and don't forget to subscribe to That Park Place Podcasts online, your source for exclusive content and highlights from WDW Pro, The Pro Show, and That Park Place for all the news that should be fun.